Hi, this is David with David's Tutorials, and in today's video, I'm going to show you a super easy way to move a row or several rows in a table in Microsoft Word. If you have worked with Microsoft Word for any time at all, and especially if you use a lot of tables, as I do, you have very likely come across a situation where you want to move a row or several rows in a table to a totally different location in the document. Well, you can, and I'm going to show you just how to do that now. All you have to do is highlight the row you want to move, then hold down Alt-Shift and use your up or down arrow keys. You can see how easy that is. Even better, if you move the row to the top or the bottom of the table and then keep moving it, the row you're moving will form its own new table wherever you drag it. Interestingly, if you move it to a location where there is another table, it will integrate itself right into that other table, but as you can see, the row you are moving maintains its own table and column widths. Even with a different width and a different number of cells in the row, the new row is fully integrated into the second table. You can verify this by clicking Tab from the rightmost cell in the row above the newly moved row, your tab cursor will move through those new cells as if they were part of the original table. Unfortunately, the same row moving technique will not work on moving columns to the left or the right, but you can move columns by dragging them. First, hover your mouse cursor over the top row of the column you want to move until the cursor turns into a down pointing arrow. Then click to select the entire column. Once the column is selected, Simply drag it left or right to its new location. Once you master the technique of selecting a column of a table, moving the column should be pretty easy. I hope this tip delights you as much as it did me when I first learned of it. It would be a good idea to share this tip with other people you know who use Microsoft Word and especially those people you know who use a lot of tables. Thanks so much for watching the video. Be sure to give us a thumbs up to let the YouTube robots know that you thought it was a good video. Give us some comments in the section down below to let me know how you liked it, and also to tell us what other tips you would like to see us make videos on. Don't forget to click subscribe and then the bell icon to be notified whenever we post another great tutorial right here on David's Tutorials.